What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling phenomenal today. <laughs> so for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just the greatest, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. Oh, let's get over here, Cancer. <laughs> and for those of you who are new, Welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of the channel for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, wherever, cancer, this one's for you. I actually just met some of the Jupiter and cancer. And uh, I do tarot cards for space of our ruler here, the ghetto moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one, -one, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals, feeling lovely. This great angel around here, Cancer. And how could it not be Cancer? Because the moon... Oh, oh and actually, Cancer, uh, when I'm recording this, it's uh, actually falling on a Jupiter day. Or no, this when this is coming out, this is coming on um, on the day that is ruled by Jupiter. So happy Jupiter Day, Cancer. Jupiter rules over Thursdays. But let's talk about the moon in Pisces. This is a very dreamy place for the moon. So this is one if you do find yourself... Um, if you find yourself that you if you notice or know that you're an active dreamer, yours might even be a period more vivid than normal. So this could be somewhere, you know, write those, uh, have a little dream journal by your side there, Cancer. You never know how a uh, higher self may be trying to reach to you and uh, in their, in, pff, reaching to you from your subconscious realm. So something to pay attention there. And you may just notice in general, Cancer, that you might be dreaming a little bit more during this period of time. But also Pisces is very compassionate, very very empathetic energy. So this might be something where you may feel, it, it's like you're, it's a little different than like the moon and cancer. It's like you're gonna feel like the, just like the energies around you a lot more. You know, it's different. Pisces feels things on like a very kind of psychic level that cancer. So you may find that you're connected with people on a, just on, on a much deeper level, you know? And, you know, the, the twelfth house, one thing, or the twelfth house, Pisces is associated with the twelfth house and having been uh, co-ruled by Neptune. Um, we want to be mindful too of any sort of like escapisms or things along those lines. You know, anything that can uh, kind of get you in an altered state, Cancer, just because that it's your the energies with Pisces makes you more susceptible to those things. So just something to pay attention to as well, Cancer. And then you couple that with the waning gibbous phase or or the disseminating moon. And with the Wayne and Gibbs, this is kind of like the calm after the storm, you know, where this is a great time to really kind of express gratitude in the work that you've done, Cancer. Great for even to like sharing if you notice this thing has whatever it is that you've set off to be, you know, whether this is starting a new workout routine, a new diet, something along those lines, and you really like how the transformation has been, been making you feel, sharing this stuff with others, Cancer, you know, giving, it's essentially like giving back to the, to the, to the soul tribe in a sense there. It's very, very nice energy with the, with the Wayne and Gibbs. And then, last few things. These readings that I do, they're not gender-specific readings, so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below, so definitely check that out if you're interested in Cancer. But also down below are some links for some other readers that I like watching. Very intuitive group, talk about psychics over there, so definitely check them out there, Cancer. But let's get your uh, general energy of the day here, which is the seventh card of Pisces, Cancer, which is the kerosene card. About to, about to heat up here, because this is a card of aggressive, accelerate, ignite, determined, fuel, encourage, sustain, powerful, stimulate, volatile situation, provoke, watch out, unpredictable, combustible, propel, and hot. I cancer, and it seems like the energy that's coming through today is the provoke. And so if we've noticed that we've been feeling a little more kind of edgy as of late or more kind of irritable or something along those lines. You know, I feel like it's... I feel like with how sensitive our sign can be, Cancer, 
when we do get in these states of provocation and things along those lines where we feel like that others are kind of poking at us maybe or something, I do feel like we do want to be mindful of where it's not saying that we're, we're putting up with stuff like that cancer, but being mindful of how hot we may come across, you know, just, just for some, you know, because... Because I feel like there's a way to be stern without having to go go there, Cancer. You know, like, and really kind of, like, indulge in that kind of, like, lower vibe. But I don't want to even say, like, a lower vibration. Because pro cause to feel the, those angers, to feel anger and irritable, you know, those type of things, they're, they're, they're signals for things. But this feels... This feels more so like it's like we've had maybe some, maybe some other things that might be going on behind the scenes, Cancer, and maybe you've been trying to hold it together, and then it's just like, it's just like, it's like we maybe we've like let stuff go, let stuff go, and then like, I don't know, it's like something here where it's like, like the smallest thing, it like, instead of just focusing on that one thing, it's like you'll give it that plus the things that we've been holding in as well, Cancer. So that's another very interesting energy that's coming through here and it's like I almost even am feeling like for some even how I was saying like it felt like a low like seems like a low vibration because that's not that's not, you know anger has its place as well I actually had a situation like a couple of months back where because anger and frustration has always been kind of a weird one for me it'll it'll just kind of come out in like weird pockets and it's always really random when it's when it happens and at first it was just like they come out so hot and it's just like not i got all that leo energy in my chart it's just like oof, what's going on here but once you give it that space cancer i feel like some it's like we've almost maybe we've made like an enemy of anger where it's like it's different than like it, it's almost like in a sense in like an anger management cancer where it's like we give it that space then it's like when it comes up again, it doesn't totally consume us. Cause I, but I do feel that it is allowing it that space to be felt because if we stuff it down and make it an enemy, then it's then it'll act as such. And then it will, and then it just exacerbates problems, cancer, as opposed to, I don't know, cancer, there's just like, there's this energy of like diplomacy that I feel like can happen when we get in those kind of provoked, if we've been feeling provoked or, if the emotions are feeling kind of hot there, cancer. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some terror on this and get some. Get some details. So let's see what we got here. Okay, Cancer. So you have the Nine of Crystals, the Three of Wands, the Two of Stars, and then the Ace, of, the Eight of Cups. And the crystals in this deck are swords, and the stars in this are pentacles, Cancer. And with this energy here, hmm, I do feel like for some that it's like when we were talking about the the making anger kind of like the enemy here. That's kind of what I feel like is happening here. It's like this girl's like, this is a little intense for this nine of crystals, but it's just like, it almost feels like that we're, when we get in that energy, it's like, because anger, I feel like when challenged constructively can really produce some really great stuff. I remember listening to someone that... Oh goodness, I'm par I'm gonna be paraphrasing, but he was talking about I wanna say motivation or like if you're looking for something that inspires you and it says in his response to that was look at the thing that makes you angry. And then it's just like and I thought that was an interesting thought because it's like instead of using that that anger just being angry about it, it's just like how are we gonna use that to grow and then fix things, adjust stuff there. Can so it gives me almost very kind of like tower energy in the sense of like where where the tower comes through Mars, comes through and destroys things, you know, that, that anger, that heat that they bring. And then that allows you to come through, channel that other side, the Empress, and then come through and leave bring in that um that beauty and and but I feel that there is here like this energy of, and this doesn't just necessarily have to be maybe like, hmm. 
But I do feel like, well, let me get back to that. I'm all about to get all over the place, Cancer. I do feel like that there is this energy here of needing to, it's like finding a way to stay balanced and stay in harmony when things get out of line. And it's, and again, I feel like it's not necessarily letting the go of the idea like, oh, I'll never get angry or something like that. Because of course you will, Cancer. But I feel like it's more so not letting that, again, it's not, it's like, giving instead of again like making it an enemy making it an ally you know and letting go maybe with this eight of cups of just how we are it gets us out of this reactive state cancer and then you, things become more proactive i feel like is what's kind of going on here huh? okay. all right okay so let me get a little bit more it's like the three of wands got a little bit more to say let's see what's going on there and that's interesting too, Cancer, about that Aries energy. The Three of Wands, this is the Sun in Aries. And so I feel... Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Cancer. Okay, let's see. Oh! <laughs> wow, Cancer. <laughs> Speaking of Aries. <laughs> so the... Wow. So the... Three of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Five of Stars, good old Aries here, the Emperor. I love when you sync up with the energies. And then the Hermit, Cancer. And I feel like with this, in order for us to... Because I almost feel like for some, almost with the Nine of Cups, that there may even be this, this habit of... It's like when we're in it, it's like we're staying steeped in it. You know what I mean? And that's where I feel like it's it's finding a way to, I don't know, to, like to get this anger out. Maybe if we've been having things, been keeping things kind of pent up cancer. Just like finding it to release it in like healthy doses. You know, one thing I sometimes will talk with, with Aries about is that they're so, because they have so much heat that they do bring, that, you know, some kind of physical activity could be... Um, really beneficial for that cancer to kind of release some of that excess sort of like energy or anything along those lines, whether it be walking, and it doesn't have to be anything strenuous cancer, walking. I find sometimes even when I'm angry, just pacing in the room, you know, just something to get that energy moving instead of letting it just kind of bottle up or just stay, hmm, I'm not sure cancer, it's just, it might even, it may even be too, like, I don't know, like it's, I'm getting a lot with this cancer. It's like, I feel like some it's like we keep this thing bottled up and it gets, it gets us in, and then we go to this, it's like afterwards we get to this place of like, well, crap, what did I do? How, how could I have done so? Like, I'm not, hmm. I hope that this is making sense, Cancer, but I feel that there is, it's like this, this back and forth of trying to deal with this thing, but then when it happens, it's like we kind of shy away from it, and then it gets to this place of like, why don't I have control over this thing, or, <sighs> but I do feel like, because it's not, I'm not getting, you know, like, sensing really a lot of people here, Cancer, but... If we do have some others that we do find that are provoking us, I feel like that may be, and it's like, of course, like, but this may be like, of course, like putting up boundaries, but this might be somewhere, hmm, it's like maybe, hmm, I don't know, Cancer, this is very interesting energy that's coming here, but I think I'm gonna, because my yeah, thoughts are like all over the place with that one, but let's get, um, let's see, there might be some, uh, some challenges here, Cancer. As if this wasn't a challenge. I think I'm going to... I know I talked about this before, but I think I'm going to change up this... Uh, how I'm doing this a little bit, Cancer. So stay kind of tuned for that a little bit. Thank you. All right, Cancer, let's see what else is going on with this energy here. All right, Cancer. So you have the Two of Cups, the Fool, the King of Cups, and then the Ten of Wands here. And with the Ten of Wands, it feels like that for some, some challenges. It's like, it's, it's like, it's, I do feel like it's like, it's for some, it's like we're keeping something like this energy kind of bottled up. It's like, well, no, we can, we, we just, we just, just kind of add it on the pile and kind of keep it moving. And, and I, again, Cancer, where I feel that like, I get that wanting to get where that kind of like throws your energy off or anything along those lines, but I feel that if we don't take the time to give all of our 
because all the emotions that we feel cancer are very valid if we don't give you know that if there's some i feel that we neglect with the five of stars being here than others then that does throw us it throws it gets that head and heart out of balance cancer it makes your ocean here because the king of cups is thrown down an ocean and it makes that ocean get all tumultuous you know get, they get, you, there's this internal thing that starts brewing up and then and then that gives us even just thinking with the fool of like it gets us in the state of where where we just again we react you know or just kind of jump into things or maybe say things without really kind of thinking them through or you know actions and just like it's very interesting cancer but i will say with this i feel that Considering you have the hermit here too, there is a need to kind of connect with this more, and with them to hermit and the two of cups here, to connect with these kind of emotions that we don't, because again, this like this could be anger, but this could be any sort of thing that we might, that we may put off cancer that, and it's almost like let's say for example if we happen to get in let's say like a depressive state pretty you know often or maybe every now and again that get really kind of takes us over and it's almost like the emotion is like provoking you to deal with this thing or let me get a little bit more of this king of cups here cancer Cancer. So the King of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Stars and then the Six of Wands here. And I feel like that this is something with the Nine of Stars that it's just, it's it's working on this thing and making this a routine of like how, what, what sort of like, you know, what sort of like maybe different either like coping mechanisms or maybe even some... Uh, this is like you know we could be positive like when we find ourselves getting heated maybe we t go go in a space maybe count to ten or maybe you know we're repeating some uh some affirmations in our head or but i i do feel like this is something that it may it'll be some work cancer getting kind of getting these whatever this this thing is that we're trying to kind of get the reins on here but I do feel that if we if we work on this thing with the nine of stars and find that find that balance with with every with all the emotions that we feel cancer then there will feel this sex this um this feeling of success and of accomplishment and really because I don't feel like it's like necessarily a control cancer that we're trying to do here we're trying to work with this stuff and like it's there's there's a there's I feel like there's um There's like an inner, like, I don't know, there's a knowing here that we're going to come of ourselves. You know, when once you start doing this, like, I, I feel that there's, hmm. Yeah, you make this a routine, Cancer. I feel like, you know, this could be, hmm. All right, Cancer, let's get some advice from uh, Jupiter and Neptune. Cancer. Last oh, interesting cancer. Last little bit here. Okay. So here's that tower we were talking about. So you have the tower, the ace of stars, the two of crystals, and then the king of crystals. Cancer. Very wise energy that's coming through here. And let's uh let's switch back over here. Cause I feel like with this energy, cancer. There is a decision that, that I feel like, or there's an understanding that I feel like that is getting ready to come as we start making this a routine of, of dealing with this stuff. It's either we can let this thing throw us out of balance or it's figuring out how to keep that balance as as things evolve and as we grow cancer. Because this, with the King of, King of Crystals and the King of Cups here, 
that I feel like it's like you have there's like this emotional wisdom and this 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 logical wisdom that's really kind of um, that's coming into the mix here, and it's going to be able for you to to. I feel like new things will will come from this cancer. I feel like there's there's like new with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like new in that. Or excuse me, well, eight stars, ace of pentacles. But it's like there's this new energy of of growth and of and of this like this this of just like really kind of feeling more it was almost like that weight of our that that weight from the ten of wands is kind of lifting out of our off our shoulders here, Cancer. But it is one where in considering too, since you got Mars and you got got Aries here, that and you know, and that your, you know, your card is an Aries card. You know, that, that those, those hotter emotions, you know, where yes, you know, they're not always the, the, the funnest to deal with. But, I do, again, when I feel like we learn how to work with them, then it's, it's just, it's helping us further. Because tower moments, I feel like most of the time, higher self tries to keep the tower moments internal to inspire us to, to to do change and those are with for us cancer those are the those are those emotions and when we ignore those things or sometimes we can get doubt in ourselves cancer and you know usually external towers happen just as a reminder that you can do this thing but I just feel like if this with maybe what's been but if you if we've had this these energies here as of late that have been just kind of popping up it kind of feels like that it is higher self kind of like trying to provoke you a little bit as far as like let's go like hey you got this thing like you got eyes on it now let's take action towards it let's learn from it you know as opposed to like it happening and even because maybe even some it's like it happens where it's just like well it is what it is you know i just like happen to have i'm just i'm just this you know and then we label ourselves and then and you know getting that 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 spiral cancer so i feel like that's just something to really kind of pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And I even think too, Cancer, just being mindful of and not that I think that not that I think you'd be snapping at people, you know, you know, just just coming at people left and right, Cancer. But I do feel that it, it there is this energy of just kind of being being mindful in general. But maybe just over like the next, if we've, especially if this is something that's been resonating with you, just kind of be mindful of how we respond to provocation, you know, because maybe it's just like, hmm. yeah, just being mindful of that cancer, but it's a lot, a lot of, a lot of interesting energy coming through there. So I think I'm going to leave that there, cancer. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with that one, but hmm. if anything resonated with you, cancer, give it a thumbs up and share this because you know, any, any sort of like, it, it doesn't have to just be anger, but any sort of emotion that I feel that really kind of can get the best of us or really can, hmm. I do feel like it's, and again, especially for us, Cancer, the, the, the sooner we may turn these these emotions that we feel to allies, the stronger, the wiser, the more that you can, and more stable that you feel. As we go, Cancer, I'm about to get back into your reading, but share this, Cancer, and have all these emperors. Subscribe, hit that bell button, to get notified of these videos each day. And then I'm on this meditation app. This might be something that maybe help Cancer if we get find ourselves in a bind. I'm on this meditation app, Insight Timer, and I started a group on there called Zodiac Space and Vibration. Oh, I actually just thought about something, Cancer. And it's a... It's a group to post positive affirmations, encouraging messages, things along those lines. And then as the group grows, I'm going to start posting different healing mu music and meditations, things along those lines, make, take an action with the tower, going within with the hermit, something along those lines. Can't, so check that out. And then lastly, check your sun, your moon, your rising, your Mercury, your Mars, your Jupiter, Cancer, just check your chart and come on over to my other channel, Alchemist State. I do videos weekly there. It's a good old time. And all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards here, Cancer. Interesting. So I can get you out of here. All right. So you got one of the special major arcana cards in this deck, which is the self card, Cancer. And while we're, you know, and just even thinking with that too, Cancer, because when you think about Aries energy, they're associated with the first house, which is, which is the house of self, you know? And I feel that this energy is, there is, 
it is taking a look at ourselves and really kind of paying attention to those energies that do that we do find ourselves being overcome by and and then because i was thinking with um thing i was talking about earlier you got mars here and you got virgo mars is in virgo right now be in virgo till the 27th of august and that's a really efficient energy cancer especially if we want to get some kind of like get some more sort of like yes like material things too but just even just some inner work cancer virgo deals with that day-to-day -day life routines things along those lines so getting getting familiar with all these how, how your energies change and getting more familiar with yourself and making that routine i really feel and like really kind of focusing on you know areas of your of yourself that you want to improve can really i really feel like it'll go a long way cancer because then that's it's like it's hmm very interesting let's get uh, let's get your oracle card And maybe something to think about for the next lunar cycle there, Cancer. Thank you. Interesting, Cancer. Oh, really fascinating. Because you have the Ayahuasca card, which is the Rebirth card. And look at you, Cancer. We are coming through a Rebirth. Here's a 50th card, and this is ruled by... Jupiter, Neptune, I don't think Pluto's here. Pluto's not here, but that's fine. And Pluto. And, you know, Cancer, I feel like that this rebirth is what's happening when we're, when we're kind of focused. I feel like this is a really kind of powerful combination here, Cancer, with the south and the rebirth. It, it, this does definitely give me kind of judgment vibes in the sense it's like we're letting go of these things that we felt i don't know if you can see this dna strand here cancer that we felt was like really kind of ingrained in us or maybe this even like kind of like learned sort of behaviors and things that we just thought that they had such a control on us maybe since however long cancer maybe since this little baby here maybe since birth but i feel like it's now there's this because both jupiter and neptune there's this very spiritual energy as well you know being having ruled over pisces and and even just thinking about that too you got the he had gotten the eight of cups cancer and that's saturn and pisces saturn's in pisces for the next three years so a lot of a lot of a lot of energy here of reflection and of evolution and and paying attention to the to the to the signals that are that are pushing you towards this growth cancer and really kind of i feel like being really inquisitive with especially if you had like you know anger kind of coming up and it feels feel out of the norm or oh, something along those lines cancer do i hope that that makes sense yeah that was a that was a that was an active one there and last thing cancer because there's just like aries rules over the head and that might be one thing with it too this might be something we have been just kind of churning in our head for a while like this hmm so just really kind of pay attention to yourself there, Cancer. I really feel like there's there's some signals here. Higher self is really trying to cook up cook up some uh, real real kind of uh, deep growth there. So they to leave that there. And you uh, you stay safe out there, Cancer. You know, with um, people been tr getting you getting you upset, or if you just been feeling kind of emotional as a late, been feeling just like really kind of heightened sense or something along those lines. And you know, this is something too to think about, Cancer. You know, when I talk about how because Pisces is very similar, where they really kind of take on the energies, you know, and this this provocation, these aggression, maybe some this may not even be yours. This might even be something you just kind of picked up with the energies around you. So making sure to cleanse your space as well, you know, you and all that. Like, like however that's looking sound healing maybe take like a salt bath or you know even just when we get back from the day just kind of showering off the just the the residue and the energies and things so you keep eyes on keep eyes on that moon you know because even just thinking with the waning gibbous too that's a great time for some meditation even with just you know when we're on this more kind of waning ends of the stuff this is a reflective half of cancer so be thinking about this stuff and I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.